everyone and welcome back this is part three of my decorating series and i will be starting in the dining room so let's get started so these are the uh, pieces i will be using in a dining room remember these two reindeers started off in the hallway but they contrast with the decor so they ended up here in the dining room i will also be using this gold tray with these three candelabras and i'll be using these white lights here to go over on the mantle and then next to that i'll be using pinky the gnome and her big brother pinkster next to them i'll also be using this pink and gold christmas tree now all three of these pieces i got these pieces from home goods they were such a great find and next to that i'll be um using the two golden angels and also the two golden christmas trees those i got from hobby lobby when i saw them, my eyes lit up and i just had to have them and so i did now moving right along is this iridescent um, garland it did not make it into the design it is very very pretty and it just banks off every color in the rainbow but it just didn't go with the decor so i didn't use it but now this gold and silver um, leaf garland i'm going to use that on my tablescape and this pink and gold garland will go on the tree and then i have these uh the purple cotton that's going to be on the mantle now in this bin is all the balls that will go on the tree is various colors of pink white and silver um decorating balls so i'm gonna give you guys a look real quick and then we're gonna get started Now in this scene, my husband Mike is gonna help me turn the table at a diagonal. That way we'll have more flow through space in the dining room and also enough space for the Christmas tree. now for the tree this is a white pre-lit tree but the thing about this tree is the lights are color lights and since i'm doing the dining room it's always um has been a whimsical room when it comes to my christmas decorations it's always been a, a whimsical feel to it it just flows a little bit different from the rest of the house so I always get a chance to really have fun in this room oh and i wanted to say also if this is your first time hearing my voice or seeing my face i am wanda and you are in wanda's world welcome and to my subscribers welcome back family i am so humbled and thankful that you took the time out of your day to come and spend it with me so i would love it if you would um like and subscribe to my channel and become a member of my family now my channel mainly consists of uh cleaning motivations
uh, decorating, interior design, DIYs, and also some organizational videos. Now, if any of that interests you, I would love it if you would come and be a part of my family and take this amazing journey with me because my main goal is to be a motivation and an inspiration to you and your life to live beautifully because we all have those moments where we don't feel like cleaning up. You just, you just don't feel like cleaning up. So when you have those moments, you could just come to my channel, pop me in, let me motivate and inspire you. You could just watch me for a little while and if you want, you could clean along with me or you could decorate with me, whatever it is. I would like to be that for you. So yeah, once again, just um, become a part of my family. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you won't miss anything. You will be in the loop and informed. And the lights are on, yes. Now let's get ready to put the balls on. Well, first we're gonna start with this garland here. I like this garland, I got this garland from Hobby Lobby and it was on a 50% off day. So I got two of them for 50%. And I started with the straight up and down like the rest of the house but it just didn't look right with me so i just decided to go round and round and round and round so here we go Now, after I finish this video and release it, I'm actually going to release one more video in my Christmas series, and that one will be uh, a walkthrough. It'll be a walkthrough from the living room to the hallway and dining room, just giving you a look from front to back of all the rooms I decorated.
Now, since we are off into the Christmas season, I wanted to know if you guys have started your Christmas shopping. And if you are, are you going out to the stores or are you online shopping? And if so, just give me a quick answer in the comment section and let me know, are you an online shopper for Christmas or are you like to do the hustle and bustle of going through the stores and everything? Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to my girl, Marie Brown. Thank you for coming in on the last video. I appreciate you. Now it's time for the mantle. Now I wanted to ask you guys another question. Are you going to cook for Christmas or are you going to family's house? Are you going to visit your family or are you going to stay home and cook for Christmas? We haven't really decided yet, but I think we're going to actually stay home and cook. So if you're going to cook or stay home, leave me a comment uh, in the comment section and let me know what you're going to do for this Christmas. Now I started putting Pinky and Pinkster on this side of the mantle close to the tree, but I noticed once I got everything up, how it faded from pink to white, and I wanted to keep the pink more prevalent in the room. So I actually switched the uh, Pinky and Pinkster to the other side of the mantle, and that kept the pink flow going from the tree all the way almost to the wall 
because if I would have left it where it is right now where you see it, it would have went from pink and faded out to white. But by me moving it to the other side, it still flowed evenly. And now for the tablescape. The table runner I've already had, so I just brought that back out. It looks so beautiful and so elegant. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some pink balls and scatter them in between that tablescape. That way the pink can talk and have the same conversation as the tree and the mantle. And now that it is done, I'm going to give you a daytime and an evening time look at the tree at the dining room. So this is a daytime look. This is with the lights on. And if you have made it this far in the video, leave me a tree in the comment section so I'll see who's really kicking it with me the whole way. I added those pieces for a little decorative touch and I tell you, it really, really pops right there. And you see I put Pinky and Pinks are on the other side of the mantle and they fit and it goes well and I got their legs crossed and they just chilling on a cloud. My tablescape is a winter wonderland, is golden. It is a golden winter wonderland. It is beautiful. And now for the nighttime view.
and I am so glad you made it this far. And I am going to say once again, I am Wanda and you are in Wanda's world. And if you made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you like, share my video and let somebody else enjoy me too. And I would love it if you would become a part of my family and take this amazing journey with me. And until the next time I see you, I'll see you. And be blessed, people.